guys, me, your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the Marvel Studios What If Zombie Iron Man. I picked this up from HMV this week for $25.99. A little bit on the expensive side, but that seems to be the new price of the figures. Um, looking at the actual figure, uh, the boxes of itself, I do like the artwork on the side. Not going to lie, I do like the zombie cartoon image there of Iron Man from the, uh, from the What If cartoon. And also on the side, I do like this about the new packaging. I've got to admit, I like the uh, the little thing where it shows you which figures come with what parts, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> Other than that, there's not much else to talk about on the packaging, so let's jump straight in and take a closer look at Zombie Iron Man. Finally got another zombie to add to my Monsters Legends range. Let's do it. Here is Zombie Iron Man out of the packaging, and he does look really cool. Um, that face sculpt is really nice, but you'll see that probably better on the desk cam in a few moments. Uh, but you can make him look up, down, left and right, and all that good stuff with a bit of pivot in the head there. The head doesn't want to look up too much, though. The ball doesn't really want to go up too much. But it, it, it's decent enough. You get plenty of movement there. The arm also lifts up at the side here and also rotates. There's also rotation at the bicep with double hinged elbows, uh, which is kind of nice. Hands, I've got the fisty cuffed hands on mine at the moment, but he does come with the uh, open palm hands that you can add the repulsors into, which I'll just show you now. They look like this with the open sort of hole here so that you can add the repulsor which just slots into the hand like so to create the blast. Although this is a zombie Iron Man so I don't see the need for that. I know he did it in the program but I wish the hands weren't the usual static ones that we normally get. I wish there were more zombie clawing at you coming for your hands whereas these feel a little bit too, I don't know. I might, I'm going to have one fisty cuffed and one of those hands on pointing down, I think. But if I can, if I can get, if I can find some spare hands in my drawer that are a bit more movement orientated that I can actually do something with, then I'll probably use those. Actually, I'm going to change that back to the fisty cuffed hand. This does feel like the Iron Man figure that we got a while back, which was uh, like I'm pretty sure this is the same mold as the one they used for the sort of. Uh, the, the two pack were it, or the three, four pack or something back in the day from Disney Store. The one with um, the beaten up Captain America and the, the Iron Man that had all the beaten up parts on him. Because this, look, this looks very similar, except they've just added the red <coughs> sort of blood splashes on this one. The head itself, though, you'll be glad to know, is not on the neck thing. So you can just pop it off on a ball peg. And you can add this to other figures. Because what I do like about this is, yes, it is the cartoon version of... of uh, of Iron Man, which means it does also have a slight resemblance to an undead Doctor Strange. So I mean that could be a cool one to have a zombie Doctor Strange on your shelf, but for now we've got zombie Iron Man. Uh, but let, let's jump down to the desk cam and have a closer look at zombie Iron Man. Let's do this. So here he is out of the packaging with a closer look at the costuming here. As you can see they've added plenty of red splotches to the upper part of the figure. The lower part of the figure does just feel like a regular generic Iron Man. Again, the hands slightly bother me because they can't really move them, move them around, but it is what it is. Oh no! Wouldn't be a review without something falling over. The figure itself though, I do like the face sculpt. The weird tash looks weird though. The tash on the upper lip makes it look really odd. I might end up painting over that because I'm not a big fan of the tash. Uh, but the rest of it looks great. <laughs> the blood splashes on the chest as well. Are, yeah, I know this is a... Uh, this is, obviously it's, it's Marvel Legends Zombies, but it's based on the cartoon, not the original zombies that we're all aware of. But here's the Iron, the, 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 the Captain America that goes with this one, which is pretty cool. And of course we got Zombie Scarlet Witch recently. If I can get her to stand. Yeah! <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> so yeah, they do look good together. We've now got three Marvel Legends Zombies. Four, technically if you count the old Toy Biz version of the original zombie himself. I do love the Marvel Legends zombies, and I do hope we get more. Maybe even an updated version of the original zombie, that would be awesome. But either way, these are a great addition to the line, and I can't wait to see who we get in zombified form next. Because I'm loving this line. I need more monsters for my Marvel Legends collection! What are your thoughts on these zombies, guys? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, if you enjoyed this video today, then please smash that subscribe button to support the channel. Plus, you'll get to see more awesome content. And while you're here, why not check out one of these other videos that you may find something you may enjoy to watch. Guys, thank you very much for watching. 
Until next time, may the force be with you.